Hey y'all, happy Thursday. I just left the dentist office. Oh, I need to go home and take a nap now. Like, am I, this is stupid. Am I the only one who hates the dentist? And I love my dentist. There's nothing wrong with my dentist. I've never had a traumatic experience here. I just, when I come to the dentist, I'm so nervous all the way here, driving all the way here. I'm just like, and the entire time I'm sitting there in that chair, I'm tense. I have to keep consciously, deliberately untensing parts of my body because I realize like my legs are tensed up, my shoulders are up like this, my arms are locked tight, and I have to keep constantly just un relaxing myself, like just calm down. I cannot stand the feel of that metal scrapey thing on my teeth. I just, oh God, I hate it. I sit there the entire time just wanting to die. Just like, ugh, stop scraping my teeth. Stop scraping my teeth. And I'm always afraid they're gonna hit a, a sensitive spot and I'm gonna come jumping up out of that chair. I have not had that happen in years. It happened probably, last time it happened was probably 10 years ago but they were using that little, it was like an industrial strength. It was like a water pick on steroids instead of the little metal scraper thing. And she hit a spot on one of these teeth down here. I damn near came up out of that chair. Oh, good Lord. It was funny too, because before she got started, she goes, now, if you experience any discomfort, raise your hand so I'll know. I said, honey, if I experience anything at all, even remotely resembling discomfort, you're going to know. I about sprung up out of that damn chair. It wasn't funny at the time, but it's kind of funny now because, like, yes, I raised my hand a little bit. <laughs> like, lady, I'll be levitating out of this chair like I'm possessed. I will hit the ceiling if you hit a spot. Anyway. My kids told me, they said, all right, now you got, you know, you, you were grilling us before our appointment because they got their teeth cleaned earlier this week. And they did great. No cavities. They had no problems at all. It was wonderful. I was surprised. <laughs> Sorry, kids, but I was surprised. <laughs> they are not the best at brushing their teeth sometimes. But they said, all right, mom, it's your turn. You going to come back with a good report? I said, of course I am. Of course I am. And I did. I had no problems. My teeth are wonderful, no cavities, no issues whatsoever. My gums are glorious. I used to have a lot of trouble with my, my gums though, but it was my fault because I didn't floss. I would not floss, I hated flossing. And that was why my gums were shit, because I hated flossing. And I would lie to the dentist like they don't know. Like they don't know. I floss like, no you don't. You know damn well that dentist knows you're lying to them because they have to listen to that all day. People lying. I did floss. I floss every day. Like, Then why do your gums bleed as soon as I look at them? You're not flossing anything. Unless you're doing that stupid damn Fortnite dance. You're not flossing. So, but once I discovered, um, I use oral, I actually have a thing of it here. I keep, I keep dental floss in my car. Cause there's nothing worse. I eat apples a lot when, I, when I'm driving around town running errands. I'll bring, I'll bring an apple with me for a snack. And I hate if I get a little piece of skin or something stuck between my teeth. This right here is what I use. Oral-B Pro Health. Uh, Walmart makes a version of it too that's cheaper and work. It, it, you, normally I have the Walmart kind, but this is what I have in here. Oral-B Pro Health. And it's like a dental, it's not thin like dental floss, and it's so much gentler on your gums, because I hate regular dental floss. So, I, that's what I use, and I floss every single day. I floss once a day, I brush twice a day. Um, oh, yeah. And it has made a world of difference in my, in my gums and my teeth and everything. It has made a huge difference. They don't yell at me anymore about about my teeth you know I had gingivitis you know where your gums get red and you know it's, it's not cool so yeah once I made a point I, I'd make sure to floss every day I floss every morning after I brush 
Um, but it doesn't matter when you fly, as long as you do it once a day. It's kind of gross, but I used to do it at work when I used to work in an office because that was, that just worked for me. Like I would, like after lunch, after I ate lunch, I would floss my teeth. I would sit in my office. I'm in there with my door shut. It's not like anybody sees me in there. You know, I, I would floss every day after I ate lunch. And that's just when, that's just, just how it worked out. And that's how I remembered to do it. But I don't work in an office anymore. So I just, I just floss after I brush my teeth when I get up in the morning. And that's just what works for me. But yes, you need to take care of your teeth. I promise you will never regret taking care of your teeth. Take the time to do it. You don't have to buy expensive stuff. You don't. You can get everything you need at Dollar Tree to take good care of your teeth. You sure can. They even have tongue scrapers there. Oh, it's really funny. I had a tongue scraper from Dollar Tree, and I used it. I had it for a long time. And then you reuse them, clean them, you know, use them. Well, it broke. It broke in half one day. I went to use it, and the thing just snapped in half. So I wanted to get another one. So I thought, well, I'll just run down to Dollar Tree and get another one. Well, I went down there. They didn't have any. And for a long time, you couldn't get them there. And it was really funny. I finally broke down. I waited and waited. I kept looking at Dollar Tree for tongue scrapers because it really helps get that crap off your tongue. I brush my tongue, but I also like to use a tongue scraper twice a day. And it's really helped with like bad breath and stuff like that. And it just, I don't get that yucky taste in my mouth as much as I used to. Maybe it's psychological, but I, anyway. So it was really funny. I kept looking at Dollar Tree for one and they didn't have them, didn't have them for months. I'm talking like three or four months, they didn't have any. And I finally gave up and I went on Amazon and I bought one on there. And literally the very next day, I happened to be in Dollar Tree. And guess what? Yeah, they had tongue scrapers again. Like, of course you do, of course you do. As soon as I go on Amazon and pay $7 for one, you gonna have one in here basically identical to the one I just bought. We'll just run the red light. Dang them for a dollar twenty-five. Of course. Now that I have one, you get them back in stock. Of course you do. I knew it. I knew that would happen. In fact, it was the day. Uh, it was the day I went in there and organized soap last time, and we looked at Easter stuff and all that. Yeah, that's when they had them. The day after I got mine in the mail from Amazon. Yep day after I got mine, they had them again. Like, y'all suck. You know that? I'm dressed really flashy today. Look at me. Woo! I got on my earrings, my necklace, and I have on a gold shimmering cardigan. It's fabulous. I found it at Goodwill. Like everything else. These earrings came from a Goodwill jewelry bag. I'm not looking at y'all, by the way. People always say, you know, how do you shouldn't drive and stare at your phone. I'm not staring at the phone. I'm not looking at the phone at all. Um, so, I am I am very happy right now because I've been a nervous wreck all morning because I had to go to the dentist. And I'm sitting there just all tense and she's scraping. Fortunately, she didn't have to scrape a whole lot. But I cannot stand the feel of that thing on my teeth. I just... Ugh, it just... It just Ugh, it hurts me physically. Just I hate that feeling. No fun. But yeah, I have a clean report, no cavities. I am doing great, which is so wonderful. Woo, big mud puddle. It's been raining nonstop. It rained all night. It's been raining all morning. It's slacked off a little bit, which is good. And it's cold. Yesterday was a beautiful day. Today it's cold and rainy very yucky but I'm just glad my dentist appointment is over I am so happy I've been dreading it all week been dreading it all week but I got some new ideas for Dr. Benson based on my theoretical possible maybe conversation that I had with my dentist I love my dentist but my dentist is a little strange I don't know how to describe it but a lot of the stuff Dr. Benson says is stuff that my dentist may literally have said that just leaves me going, what? What the hell does that mean? I don't understand. I just learned to roll with it, like, you know. If they change the name of that car wash again, they keep changing. I think it's a front for drugs. That's what my mother would say. She always said that there was this grocery store out of town. 
And it was kind of suspicious because every time you went by there, there'd be nobody there. There might be one car in the parking lot. And it's still open today. And if we ever rode by there, she would whisper to me like there was some secret. It's a front for drugs. It's a front for drugs. Every time. She wasn't even trying to be funny. That's just what she would do. Like, Bob, we're the only two people in the car. You think the FBI is listening? Why are you whispering about that? And it's not a front for drugs. Yes, it is. You don't ever see anybody shopping there. How do they stay open? Like, I don't know. But you know what? That store is still there, and nobody shops there. And I'm like, maybe my mom had was on to something. Maybe it is a front for something. I don't know. Because how do they stay in business? Nobody shops there. There's always... The, the most cars I've ever seen in that parking lot was maybe three. Nobody shops in that store. How do they stay open? You know, they say as you get older, you realize your parents, you know, knew what they were talking about. Well, shit, maybe she knew what she was talking about with that store. Anyway... How'd I get off on that? Oh, the car wash down there. Yeah, that car wash has changed names a couple of times. It's like it's changed again. We're on Battleground Avenue in Greensboro, and um, there's a Biscuit Bill. Biscuit Bill. That's one of my kids used to call it Biscuit Bill. There's a Biscuit Bill back there, and actually they have another one. They've built another one up here. I think it's in the same shopping center with Trader Joe's, and that is right up yonder. There's a new Aldi up here somewhere. It's where Earth Fair used to be. I haven't been to it. We now have, I think, I think we have four Aldis in Greensboro, four or five in Greensboro now, which is great, awesome. You know, I love Aldi, I do. There is a truck over there. It's like a panel van and it has Nutty Buddies on the side. It's a little Debbie, little Debbie truck. And it has Nutty Buddies on the side. Oh, I love those things. I used to eat them all the time when I was a kid, but I couldn't tell you the last time I had one. It's like a wafer coated in this waxy chocolate-like stuff, kind of like a moon pie. And then it has this peanut butter filling in it. And it's, it's like a crunchy Reese's Cup, sort of. Good stuff. There's Stamey's Old Fashioned Barbecue, which is overrated in my opinion. Their barbecue is not that great. I've heard people say that, oh, if you go to Greensboro, you gotta go to Stamey's. No, don't go to Stamey's. Don't go there. Go to Country Barbecue on Wendover if you have to go to a barbecue place in Greensboro. Well, I would recommend Black Powder in Jamestown, but that's not in Greensboro. If I had to go to a barbecue place in Greensboro, I would go to uh, Country Barbecue on Wendover and this time of year they also have their fantastic Brunswick stew which I think I might go get some of that for lunch that actually sounds really good I will run out there for that they have a really really good Brunswick stew but they only sell it in the winter time and another good thing Mrs. Winters chicken the fried chicken place they have the best chicken and dumplings Oh my goodness, and it comes with a big old biscuit. Man, it's good. It is so good. I haven't had that this year. I don't think I had it last year either. I think I forgot about it. But they only do it in the wintertime. They don't do it after it after spring comes out, do it anymore. Yeah, so we now have two biscuit bills on uh, Battleground. I'm coming up on the second one now. But I figured a way to treat myself after going through the, the whole dental ordeal, what I should do. God, Herbie's is busy. Good Lord. This place is packed. At 10.30 in the morning. Who is... Kind of a weird time of day to be eating, but on a weekday, but what the hell do I know? I figured I would treat myself to a little trip up to Goodwill. And there's a good Goodwill up here on Battleground, North Battleground. And today, I, I'm signed up for the text deals from Goodwill, and they texted me a couple of days ago and said that they would be texting me a coupon code for 25% off my purchase. Oh, it's like a one-use thing today. And I have that coupon, so anything I buy today will be 25% off, which is cool. So, I don't know. I don't know that I'll buy anything, but... I might. I don't know. I figured I'd run up here and see what's good. And um, then I gotta go home and get some work done. 
But yes, my teeth are, are lovely. No cavities. Oh, don't they feel good after cleaning? Oh, they feel so smooth. Mm. I love the I love that feeling. Love that feeling. I just don't like all the scraping and stuff that goes along with it and all that bleh, that yucky metallic taste. Bleh. But everything looked good. I'm very happy. And I'm done until six months from now, so that's awesome. So I can tell my kids, yes, I had a good report, no cavities, no problems at all. My gums look good. And we're all good. Yes, take care of your teeth, people. I'm telling you. You know, if your parents got onto you to brush and you're not brushing because you're out on your own now, this is me telling you that I'm watching you. You need to brush your teeth. Take care of your teeth. Because, honey, if you don't, it's going to be a lot more painful and a lot more expensive in the future. If you don't take care of your teeth, it's going to cost you more in the long run than it, you know, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure, as they say. I mean, you can still have problems. Shoot, I've had cavities. I have. I've, had, I've never had like a big cavity or anything. I've always had like the little baby cavities and stuff, but yeah, it, but to be fair, I, I didn't always, I didn't always brush and floss like I should, so, and I paid for it, literally, but I've never had to have a crown or anything like that, thank God, <laughs> I shouldn't say that out loud, I'll jinx myself, <coughs> but, um, yes, take, take care of your teeth, do it, get your teeth cleaned, they have payment plans if you need them, Trust me, I, I know it, it sucks because I have really crappy insurance. I'm self-insured. And if you've ever had to be self-insured, you know what a nightmare that can be. I pay a lot for really gross insurance. Um, and they don't, they don't even cover the entire cleaning. I have to pay for like half of that for me and my kids. Um, so, and for fillings and stuff, I have to pay almost all of it. So... Fortunately, nobody's had to have a feeling or anything in quite a while, so that's good. But I am constantly harassing my kids to brush, and because they don't remember on their own, I have to tell them. My older son is doing a lot better. He's gotten to where he pretty much does it without me having to say anything to him. A 12-year-old, that's another story. And he's got braces, so he has to be extra careful to take care of his teeth. Lord, you can tell it's a 25% off day. Everybody and their mama's here. Dang. This, this Goodwill is always crowded. See, everybody knows the deal. Everybody knows this is a good Goodwill. This is a good one. It didn't used to be. I never used to find anything good in here. But now, I find good stuff pretty much every time I come here. Yes, sirree. So, I'm going to go in here and shop. And I hope that y'all are having a good day, have had a good day, whatever you have going on. I had to stay up late last night editing that video with the workout stuff. I got started on it late. There is nowhere to park. I should go down there. Um, so I'm really tired, but I, I've, I'm tired, but I'm working. I got, I got to get to work as soon as I get out of here. But y'all have a good day. I'm gonna, I actually have some stuff to drop off. Y'all have a great day. I will see you again soon.